You guys, I grew up in, um, in Colorado originally. Thank you. And every time I tell somebody that, the first thing they ask me is, do you ski? But I would never meet somebody from Florida and be like, oh, so are you planning on dying soon? <laughs> or New Jersey, do you dump people in the Hudson River? <laughs> Colorado's a, a great state. People can't believe I left. They're like, don't you miss those big, beautiful mountains? I'm like, yeah, I do, which is why I bought a set of my own. Home sweet home. Very outdoorsy state. People like to do dumb shit like camping. Don't understand camping. I think it is very dumb. Isn't vacation supposed to be where you act like you're rich, not where you act like you're poor? <laughs> like I've never thought to call my friends and say, oh my God. I've got the greatest weekend getaway. Homeless in the woods, you in? It's <laughs> just stupid, you know? We can pee on our feet, it's gonna be great. It's so much fun, and it's so dangerous. People forget that you are putting yourself in an environment with wild animals that can eat you. Look, if I want something cute and furry to eat me, I'm just gonna have sex with an Italian. <laughs> I live in New York. I've been in New York now for 13 years. I've got a doorman because I'm crushing it at life. Thank you. They always sell it to you as a luxury, right? You got a doorman, you're in a luxury building. No, it's a complete invasion of privacy. That's it, they know everything, everything. My doorman even knows when I ovulate. <laughs> I come home one day, he hands me my package with a box of chocolates and a note on top that just said, please don't be a bitch to me this week. <laughs> I was like, all right, thanks for the reminder. Got a very sexually active neighbor too, that's fun. I always hear his headboard just slamming against my wall. I'm happy he's getting some, but it's just a little uncomfortable because I know he's always alone. <laughs> Weird. I'm single and I'm dating, and it's hard dating with a doorman. It really is. But the one thing about dating is all my friends will be like, what's your type? I'm like, I don't know, male 21 to 55. <laughs> Maybe not that old. Like, 18 to 55? <laughs> a little bit better. I don't know, don't judge me, but lately, is, lately I've actually really been into preppies. There's just something really sexy about a man who looks like his parents could support us. <laughs> they think they look so good, don't they, when they go out? And we're like, no, you look like a douche. Your father looks loaded. <laughs> smart guys are good too. I love smart guys. But I can always tell how smart a guy is based on the words he uses in his text messages. Okay, right? Like if I have to Google what you're saying, I'm gonna guess you're probably pretty smart. <laughs> like this one guy, he sent me a message. He goes, oh my gosh, I think it is so adorable how you gesticulate. I'm like, how a what? <laughs> I just assumed he was referring to how I played with his balls. <laughs> Turns out gesticulate means how you use your hands when you speak, like hand gestures. So I was right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh. Everyone's like, go to the internet to find a boyfriend. That's where everybody's finding a relationship these days. Makes sense, because you can find everything on the internet. Did you guys know there's even a website out there where you can find somebody to dry hump your leg for 45 minutes? Yeah, it's called Christian Mingle. <laughs> Great. 